Okay, now we'll talk about some more advanced functions uh, of using the Juno uh, with remote meetings, uh, lesson capture, even more Juno functions. Uh, we'll be doing this actually with Zoom, so you'll see the captions, and I'll explain those in a second. Okay, one of the reasons that your district probably purchased Junos was to help with you uh, with your synchronous remote learning. So this will be a scenario where you have students in class and students at home at the same time, and the Juno um, connects uh, beautifully. Your cables are probably are already set up, um, but we'll just make sure that they're done correctly. And there's the USB cable from the Juno to the computer. Then you likely have a splitter, an adapter, and that can either be a USB or a 3.5, pink green, and you'll be using the computer mic jack, uh, which is pink, to the Juno audio out, and you'll be using the computer headset jack, which is green, to the Juno audio in. So once that is done correctly, so once you're using Schoology or Zoom for your remote learning, the students at home will hear you through the mic and you can hear them through the Juno. So there's, again, that incidental learning. So the thing is you'll need to do are check the various volume settings on your computer, uh, on the Juno itself, and on uh, any device, and just make sure those are good. Practice, practice, practice. This is really not about Zoom training, uh, because I know you're probably comfortable with that. This is just how the Juno and the mic interacts with Zoom. Uh, you'll want to make sure you're using the same as system, uh, mic and speaker settings. So this will, you can even rename your Juno mic. This will uh, bypass your computer mic and use the, the higher quality Juno mic. The audio will also come from your Juno for your students in class, uh, not through your computer speakers, which is what we want. Some things to watch out for are the different kinds of screen sharing. Uh, you'll notice the captions that are live now. I'm sharing only PowerPoint. I'm not sharing my whole screen. And that um, allows you to see these captions at home. It also allows you to see my video alongside, which is nice for recording. Some other things to watch out for are you know, muting all uh, from within the, the record function. Uh, but then if your own Juno mic is muted, then you'll be silent. So you'll need to make, pay attention to that. All right, we just covered uh, synchronous remote learning. Now let's look at asynchronous. This would be a scenario where um, perhaps all your kids have gone home, maybe from COVID, and you're just recording your, your teaching, or you're recording your teaching in class, and those that maybe are off at a softball tournament um, can listen later. So there are different ways to do this. Your district might prefer that you use actually the Zoom record uh, function or Schoology, which is fine. But we also include a bit of software called Teacher Edition uh, that we've actually made free this year because of COVID. And like I said, tools, options, go into recording here, probably your Google Drive location, whether it's on a shared file or your local computer. This is where you'll go just browse for it, find it, click OK, it'll lock it in. Uh, the second thing is a recording name, which really is your schedule. This is where you'll put in uh, your different classes, um, name them, when they start and stop, days of week. So then uh, Teacher Edition knows after you've finished doing a recording, it automatically titles it, automatically drops under Google Drive, makes it really easy for you. You don't even need to remember anything. The other third possible piece is where you'll put in your um, the web link, where your classroom is, whether it's in your LMS or uh, your actual Google Classroom. When those things are done, um, press record. So. Uh, my mic is on. You'll get a countdown on your screen. Uh, the Juno screen, as you can see, turns red and you know that you're recording. So then you add back your digital content. Teacher Edition is recording what's on your computer as well as your voice. You can pause the recording, which I just did. So now you get a flash on the Juno screen, but nothing I'm saying will be recorded. And then I hit resume and that was all gone. There's a place here to check the battery settings for both teacher mic and student mic or however many mics you have. Uh, there's a mixer function. This is where your web link is. And you can actually record multiple chunks. So instead of one long 50 minute lesson, you might have you know, 10 minute segments. That's fine, just keep, keep going and they'll queue up to be compiled. And that is how and where you do an asynchronous session. And you can do this at home. You can have Teacher Edition on multiple computers. We just get the key for you. So.